much as possible on all the different aspects within being a member and of our club of CAA. Okay, because it's not just roadside assistance, which a lot of people seem to think it is. So um, Ian asked us to come in today, so I want to thank Ian for having us here today. You'll see at the table we provided, we went ahead and we put some kits together for you. Um, on the front of it, there is a, a sheet there that we're asking if you can um, put your name, address, phone number, and email address. <coughs> That's just um, with all the new laws and regulations. In order to have your uh, information, we need to have that filled out and signed. It doesn't uh, go anywhere outside of us, our office of CAA, um, but it's just um, the legalities now of having anything if you were to email us for anything, we can't respond to you unless we have this signed. Already, um, you'll also see in your kits, we personalized the trip tip for you. Um, <coughs> put your logo on the front, and this is uh, two routes down and back, a uh, different way down and back of Lake Placid. So we've done the whole thing for you in your trip tips. You're also going to see in your kits, and we are going to talk about these different things, you're going to see um, there is some information on like Placid, and they, uh, there's some information on um, travel insurance, there is information and pamphlets on the being a member and what that all entails. There is also a brochure in there of extraordinary uh, tours and travel. Um, again, just to give you an idea of all the different aspects in which CAA uh, being a member uh, is a good thing. Alrighty, so... These, these trip tips, mm -hmm. if you're a member, is there a cost to this? No, all maps, all trip tips, and all tour books, which I brought one to show you, all these tour books, which give you every, um, as you're going, it gives you hotels, restaurants, things to see, places to go, uh, routes to take, all this. Where you get your discount. As a CAA member, you get benefits, which means discounts. You get discounts on booking hotels, you get discounts wherever you show your card. You also have the loyalty partners that we are with. When you show your card, you get discounts. And you can also collect CAA dollars when you use your card. You go into Husky, you get gas, you swipe your card, you get CAA dollars back. Those CAA dollars, you can use that to renew your membership. You can use that to book, put towards a trip. It's like actual dollar for dollar. It doesn't have a cash value to go and get it as cash but it does have a dollar per dollar value. Okay, so we're, we've got a lot here we're gonna go through for you. Um, so first I'm just going to share with you a short uh, video about why we're in the business of protecting our members. Alrighty. On the day you discovered the all fruit diet, and on the day your car ran out of juice, on the day the ocean blue left you black and blue, and on the day you bought some gold and saved some green, CAA was there with travel savings and roadside assistance, travel insurance, and everyday rewards. For over a hundred years, members have known that when their card comes out, the day is about to get better. CAA, making bad days good and good days better. Okay, so since 1900, our business focus has been to keep our members safe while they're on the road with our emergency roadside service and with our government advocacy program. So CAA is involved in the worst roads. I'm sure you've seen it on TV. There's uh, been lots of commercials about it lately. Uh, the different areas and communities can report in the worst roads in their community uh, to CAA. And CAA takes, it's CAA that takes that into the uh, government departments to get those fixed. Um, it's, what, been how many years now they've been doing it? At least six or six seven. Six or seven years, yes. Um, It'll be a full-time job. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't know if any of you know, but as a CAA member, you would have access to exclusive benefits and savings. Even with our auto and home insurance, which also is motorcycle insurance as well, 
Um, there's a discount if you remember right off the bat. There is a 5% discount when you sign up. Then there are other discounts that come along with that, like um, actually I just did it myself. Um, if you've been driving for over 20 years with no lapse in your insurance and you are a good driver, um, there's another 15% discount on your insurance. You bundle your home and auto together, another 10% discount. I just changed and bundled and did mine all and I just saved $400 a year from who I was with prior. Like it's, and if you have winter tires, you get another discount. Like there's so many benefits to being a CAA member that um, a lot of people don't realize just how much we have to offer. Would you know off the top of your head how competitive you are with motorcycle insurance? We are very competitive. But very not, competitive. Not figures. We, we can, um, and part of today as well is we can um, take your, all we need is your name and your, your uh, phone number and the date your um, renewal. renewal of your insurance. We can take that information today and we can put in right to our insurance company and have them call you and you can have a quote. It doesn't cost you a thing. So Deborah, are you acting happen. as a broker or are you? No, CAA owns their own. Okay. We are our own, we have our own company of underwriters. We are our own CAA insurance. Mm -hmm. Hence why I think a lot of savings that we can offer and benefits we can offer because <coughs> it's all within our own house. Um, so, alrighty, let's get started. So, membership, let's touch base on membership. With the motorcycle, we have two coverages that can be uh, memberships that cover motorcycles. That's our premier coverage and our plus coverage. So, um, with the premier uh, benefits, the roadside assistance, you have five service calls. One tow up to 320 kilometers. You have concierge service and you have identity protection. With the plus benefits, you get the roadside assistance 200 kilometers of towing, as well as the other roadside services to a maximum of four per year. So, how do I stop this thing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> This is a new laptop, people. <laughs> so, I've brought Elaine along with us because Elaine uh, is a top seller for us of our insurance. She takes care of uh, insurance sales within our building. She also takes care of insurance sales over the phone. So, even though you're from different areas, you, can, you will find in your kit Elaine's card with her extension. You can do this all by phone. You can you can call and get your insurance. You can you can do things by phone. It doesn't mean you have to actually come into the building. So Elaine's going to talk and explain to you a lot more about the uh, memberships that we have and the uh, dif different benefits within it. She's going to give you some more. So do you want to come up, Elaine? And sure. I'll do that. In, in your brochure um, that you brought today, thank you, <laughs> is um, this guide to CA membership benefits, which you can read, but the synopsis is um, we're looking after you, um, whether you lock your keys in your motorcycle. It's not looking. <laughs> it could happen. But I'm to see. Whether you lock your keys in the car, whether you, 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 you lock your keys in the car, need a battery boost, run out of gas, don't a change your own tire, or you're stuck at the side of the road, all of those things apply for us to look after you. And as Deb said, four service calls that could be any of those things for the um, plus membership, and for the premier membership, five service calls that. The fifth one could be up to 320. And if you're in Lake Placid and you get partway home, they tow you to the border and then we switch trucks and somebody else will bring you home the rest of the way. Because I, I understand some of you are doing this Lake Placid trip. Um, so what happens have, in the States? Is it, is it, it's uh, AAA. We're it's all tri affiliated. Your, your, your partner's yeah. in AAA? We're okay. absolutely the same family. We'll look after them when they come here and they look after you when you go there. And if I can just interject one quick a uh, little thing, just to let you know, with CAA, it is not the vehicle, it is you. We 
take care and insure you. So you might not even, for instance, as a member, you might be in somebody else's car or you might be on the back of somebody else's bike that does not have CAA, but they break down or they have a problem. You, because you are a member and you are in that vehicle or on that bike, you may call and they come out and fix because it's you that we're taking care of. It's you that we cover. But don't forget to charge your friend big bucks for you. Say, <laughs> 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 <Like>, you owe me. <laughs> and so Deb has pointed out on the last slide that <coughs> the premier membership and the plus membership are the ones that cover motorcycles. You must have that. There's a basic membership as well. It's only 79.10 for the year, still four service calls but 10 kilometers of towing. And it doesn't so, cover motorcycles. No, it does not. Because with the Plus and the Premier, we know to bring a flatbed. You tell us when you're calling in, I have a motorcycle. <laughs> Obviously, we can't use a regular tow truck. Go ahead, darling. Yeah, I don't want you to miss out on any business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care. Take your time. I'll just say, I've got CAA Plus yeah. and uh, right. seven years ago, well, I, they had to pull my stuff at home and work fine. And I'll also point out I've got um, well, American Motorcycle Association membership that's supposed to offer towing. And yeah, you guys have one for a while. Or a bunch of they'll talk. Perfect. So it's, it's, it's worth it for that. So any questions on the memberships at all? So if I wanted a membership for my car, my bike. Yeah. Uh, the maximum distance for towing is 200 with the plus and four times and the fifth service call with the premier could be up to 320 kilometers. Most people don't get towed all the way home if they're on a big trip because you'll just pull into somewhere that can service your vehicle. Yeah. Um, Unless you get a deer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Been yeah, there, done that. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the deer hit us. Yeah. Go ahead. So what was the price for the? It's seventy nine ten for the basic. Yeah. The plus is one twenty eight eighty two. These are all for the first person on the membership. If you have associates, you can add as many drivers as you have at home. The second person as a basic would just be $46.33. A second plus membership is about $96. And the premier, hmm, the premier membership is about $164. So a second person, if they were premier, would be about uh, $120, I believe. But most of the time, and you build it whatever way you like. I have a basic membership because I come down the hill from Hesper in town to work. If we go to Halliburton or to London or something, my husband has the plus because he drives to Toronto every day. So we're covered. He's in the car. You can have an entire fleet at your disposal as long as you're in the vehicle with it. It doesn't matter whether you're a passenger or a driver. We look after you anytime you're inconvenienced. Um, go ahead. Okay. Situation here. I'm already a convert because when I came back to biking, in 2007, I got a cell phone and I got plus membership. And with short legs, I obviously don't have a reliable bike like a V-Strong. <laughs> My challenge is reaching the ground on anything. And really? somewhat related to short legs, I did have use for CAA. Um, now, he is the better roadside mechanic and he has a V-Strong. He did, isn't covered by CAA. And obviously, even if the two of us were out, I couldn't very well call and say, my v strong broke down, I'm being inconvenienced, yes, because can. no one would believe that I could possibly ride this bike. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he had one car. It doesn't matter, but you're, you're covered because you're, you're with there. him. You're with him. I'm, I'm with him. You're yeah. in, if the yeah. bike's not working, you're inconvenienced. Okay, but what if there are two bikes there. It doesn't matter. You it's can matter. power for them. Absolutely. Absolutely. You so, in other words, there is no point in his shelling out another, what, 96 bucks a year. Unless he's out so by himself. He's he would have to be out by himself. <laughs> Which case, he has a cell phone and could call me. But back. if he's going to get the help for her. <laughs> 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 he's 
see there? <laughs> this actually yeah, did yeah, happen yeah. once. His, he was leading a ride, but his bike had a problem last minute. So he took mine, only it was the one that broke down. <laughs> so, so I had to go. And rescue him. Rescue him here. from the other side of Trump. We live on the west side of Trump. Yeah. This was the east side of Trump. Yeah. But he wasn't in Ottawa. That, that was yeah. believable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there's yeah. really no point unless he's out by himself. So as long as the person who owns the membership is with you, you're yeah. covered. Absolutely. Yeah. You're covered. Well, as long as you are next to broken vehicle, you can. I could uh, be next to the broken vehicle. Any, any, I just can't. For any vehicle. Get it off its side stand. Yeah. 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 Even to be Even if it's rental. What we want you to rental is it is the person. That we <laughs> you, and we want to take care of you, our member. It is not the vehicle. It is okay. you. Okay. Sure. Okay. Go ahead, thank you. Um, wherever you want. Okay. On um, vehicle insurance, um, we'll think of it. I, I, I was just yeah. speaking. Two cars, yeah. pilot bikes. Um, but of course, I want to add another bike. This particular bike's 1977. My current insurance company says. Too old. To anything over 20 years. Right. Um, we do, we cover classic. Mm -hmm. So that would probably go through us, but then it may go to a broker. Mm -hmm. We do broker some things, but most of them go directly through us. It doesn't mean you wouldn't get a great price. <coughs> it doesn't mean you wouldn't get a discount. That would be something you would definitely because want when, to get your quote, right? And, and, and when Deb out. explains that I'm an insurance person, we're talking about out of country medical. Oh, I don't gosh. actually do home and car. But I can put in what we call a lead for you, so that either Zarina or Cynthia up in Kitchener can help you with that. You can pay all your bills through our office if it's local to you, but we just don't have an agent in our store. We, can, we also have automatic renewal for payments. We have all kinds of things, but you have to be a licensed agent. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you might as well stay there, Elaine, because we're coming into the... Uh, insurance next section which is the insurance so we have the um, three different types the single trip plan so no matter where you're headed a single trip plan from CAA is the best way to protect yourself against unforeseen medical expenses while you're traveling outside of Canada the multi-trip annual plan is your best value plan if you travel outside of Ontario several times a year, you'll save time and money with the annual plan. And then um, the other thing we want to um, let you, and I'll let Elaine explain more on this since uh, she's the expert in selling this. Um, a lot of people think that because they have coverage at work or they have coverage on their credit card, they think, oh, we're good, we have our coverage, we're good. What a lot of people don't realize is when um, they get into the fine print, there is a lot of um, exceptions to uh, the coverage. Um, so you're not covered as well as you think you are. I'll give you an example. Um, I'll give you an example, a, a short story, and um, actually this was just recently on how CAA takes care of its members with its insurance coverage. There was a husband and wife who were down in Florida, and this was just uh, two months ago. They were down in Florida. They had bought a trip, uh, medical insurance for their trip. Um, the last day of their trip, their insurance had run out. The wife did not call into a top up because they stayed a bit. They were staying a bit longer than what they had planned to do. Unfortunately, what happened on that? day that she did not call and top up on, her husband suffered a stroke. So here they were in Florida, no coverage. They called us, the wife called us, of course in a panic and distressed and distraught. We immediately put it right through to Jay Wu, our, our uh, president, our CEO, and said this is what's happened, this is what's going on. He immediately signed off and authorized. They, even though their insurance had run out, we care about our members. We care about the people. He authorized off. All coverage was taken care of to the tune of $580,000.
and we brought those members home on a plane back to here when he was well enough to travel. Again, it's we take care of you 24-7. It's not just a whatever. We are there. We have 24-hour uh, calls. Whatever it is, we will do what we need to do because we, our coverage as a member is taking care of people, and I can't stress that enough. It is all about you and your families and your friends that you're traveling with. It's about you. It's not about vehicles and things. It's about the people. Alrighty, so um, Elaine is going to explain a little bit more about the insurance. Ian had a question. Can I, yeah. give, can I give you a, typ a typical, probably worst case scenario? Mm -hmm. One of our guys goes on this Lake Placid trip. Mm -hmm. They're riding, they have an accident, they hit a, they hit a, they hit a car. Mm -hmm. The bike is pretty much wrecked. They've got several broken bones, they're in hospital. Mm -hmm. What's the typical case if they are with their own employment insurance and if they were with you? What, what would take place in either? Can well, I that? Yeah. sure you can. If the employer has good coverage, they can share the cost of looking after someone. We don't know what an employer's is. It depends on who the yeah. employer is. I know with Stelco, if anybody was with them, you had a lump sum. If you took from that lump sum, that was gone. So a lot of Stelco employees used to come to us. Um, ours is worth five million, no deductible, no paying up front. You can go totally on it if you wish to, but usually they ask you at some point in the claim form, do you have other insurance? and then they tend to share it. Um, but having not known, when we have insurance for our people, we don't know what your insurance is. And like I said, every single company is totally different. There may be a deductible. A lot of people come to us and buy it, even though they have coverage at work, because they know they're going to have to pay up front and try and get the money back. Two months, six months, how long is it going to take to get the money back? Whatever you pay to whomever you pay it when you buy insurance, you can claim it on income tax with an additional medical expense. Oh, nobody's working for the government because I think they get enough of our stuff. It's like, <laughs> so I always recommend that you save your paperwork and claim it. Um, what you're the other thing too, um, the other thing too with that is if you have CAA insurance and you were, as you say, in an accident and whatever, it's one call. That's it. CAA takes over. You have no more worries. You don't have to deal with <coughs> anything. We deal with the hospitals. We deal with the insurances. We deal with the aircraft. The aircraft. We deal with the borders. We de we deal with it all. You just get better and take care of yourself. The other insurance companies, whether it be with your work or through the bank or whatever, the, your Visa cards, whatever the case may be, you are the contact. You are the person that has to take care of everything. And then you submit, you know, to get your money back. But you have to deal with all the rigmarole and the red tapes and the whatever is going on. Oh, we're just finishing you off. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> just in time then. Some of the foods are about to start. Yeah. <laughs> Some seats on the outside. Sure. Oh, yeah, Roy. We have to sit beside Roy. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> Lucky guy. You won't be able to see it. Don't put Scott in the way. won't be able to see it. Oh! oh here it starts. Touch the Scott. <laughs> How about I get out of the way? And. Oh, yeah. 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 Sorry. Are there any exceptions in regards to your insurance coverage? Um, because some of us don't just ride on the road, some of us ride off road and go to pretty remote locations. The only time it would be an exception is if you're being paid professionally. Really? Or if you haven't met a stability spot. As in, if you have a pre-existing medical condition, mm -hmm. and you've had no change in symptoms, treatment, or medication, 
for six months before you travel. You're covered even for critical things, whether it be heart, blood pressure, whatever it is. Blood pressure, actually, I shouldn't have used that because that's only a three month ability. But everything else would be six months in your age category. As we get older, like when we get up into 70s plus and stuff, then they ask for 12 months with some things. But so if I'm, sorry, if I'm like 400 kilometers into some dirt track in the middle of nowhere and I wipe out, you're covered. Absolutely. If you're in, in um, the darks of Africa, we'll fly you up. It's Something it's that really some fun. people don't realize, I mean, even too, because uh, we were actually talking about this uh, not that long ago, but as a member, you're even covered with a bicycle. If you are out on your bicycle touring, driving around, and you get a flat tire, you can call CAA. <laughs> <laughs> they will come out and they will send and repair that tire. And if they cannot repair it, they will put it in the back of the truck and pick you up and take you to where you need to go. I want to see handlebar restraints for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. but I like to stop off road. Uh, for example, you they, said, whatever I it takes, they will. If you are a member and you have the coverage, they will do whatever it takes to get you safely back home. Because I have separate helicopter recovery insurance just to get my ass out of wherever I'm at. And it's, tri it's all triggered by a push a little red button on my spot. Yeah. So. so, as because you already have that, as we said. It may be something that they would share. Fair enough. Now, what happens if you you wreck your bike in the states? Is there any means to repatriate the bike back to Canada, or you basically leave it down there? No, like, put it on a flatbed truck and bring it home. Bring it home. Yeah. Triple A would bring it on a flatbed up to the, to the border. border. Yeah. CAA would meet at the border. They transfer the vehicle and then they bring it home. Mm -hmm. If that's what you wish, we can do what you wish. We can fly you home with a qualified medical attendant. We could take a family member to your bedside, pay for that person's food and lodging while they wait for you, as well as bring them home. Um, if you, I get this question all the time, in case somebody's thinking about it. If I booked just for a five day trip, a single trip, and darn it, I'm in hospital on day three, am I covered after day five? Absolutely, in good faith, you thought you were going to be away for five days. You are covered for five days after you're released from hospital, no matter when that is, even if it's a couple of months from now. We had a mom in a hockey situation, went to Rochester, great driver, but she was T-boned in the intersection, left down there for a month and a half. She was covered the entire time she was there because she had our insurance. So things that we don't want to think about. I, I, I don't have three houses to lose for some of the bills I've seen. So, yeah. Go ahead. Also, <laughs> we are elderly, over, both over 65, and when the time came, I didn't go with CAA because if I remember correctly, uh, it was more or less the same regardless of what condition you were already in. And I went with a different one that had six different levels. Since we're in reasonably good shape, we get the cheapest rate. We have to do medicals every two years. Do you mind me asking when it was that you... Uh, yeah, through CARP. No, but when it was that you looked at CAA? Uh, probably, well, I'm 70 now, and as I was approaching 65, um, it would have been around then. And we what are is it now, like now? We are now doing our own insurance. At that time, we were with Manulite. Yes, and we, we now are, are our own underwriter. CAA owns its own insurance. So, so do they different. have different levels? No. no. It's all the same. Because I figure you're probably paying for whatever is in the middle. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. to, for them to make a reasonable profit. Other people, like Hart, will give you, allow you to have a deductible if you wish. Right. Yeah. There, there are six that. different levels, yeah. and cool. so far we're in the cheapest level. Yeah. 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 And we, we have different levels based on your medical condition. So the, we well, don't, yeah, we don't a have a rate thing. sheet at the moment. It's based on how you answer Everyone the questionnaire. Everyone is individual. Uh, to how so you, are. you don't know until you run it you through the system. Do, that's right, but you can, get, uh, you can yeah. phone me for a quote anytime. Sure. It takes me a couple of minutes. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No worries.
Um, so we talked about a single trip plan. Foot. That's just right. for that's one. Right. If you're not I'm going anywhere in the rest of the year, right. great. The multi trip <laughs> annual plan, if anybody has children 25 and under, you would take the price of an adult and double it, and it wouldn't matter how many little kids you have under that. They're free. So um, a family membership for a multi trip for people I'm thinking in around most of your age group here would be about $160 for the year, to go for up to two weeks at a time, as many times as you like, Crossing outside the, the country, except if you stay in Canada, it's unlimited. You could go to BC and stay there five months. You could go out to the Maritimes, tour around for a couple of months. You're covered the entire time you're in the country. If you were driving from Ontario through the States out to BC, the clock's only tick, 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 tick when you're in the States. It goes back to zero as soon as you hit BC. Stay there as long as you like, come back through the States, tick, 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 you can take two weeks to go home through the States, clock goes back to zero when you get to Ontario. There's a 15-day annual, there's a 30-day annual. A lot of our people are snowbirds and go down for the winter. So the first 30 days is included in your um, annual plan. You can top up, say, for the next three months because there's a new rule that's come out about only being in the States for four months in the calendar year. Has anybody else heard about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It used to be six, right? It yes. was. Yeah. Apparently, somebody has also told me, and I haven't seen it in writing, that you can apply to stay longer as long as you let them know you're doing it. I don't know if that's true. I just know. The only the only catch with that there's there's no time limit on how much time you have to spend back in Canada to reset that. My in-laws are snow. Within a calendar year. So my in-laws, what they do is they reset it. So they'll cross the border, get a receipt that they were back mm -hmm. in Canada, turn around and go right back to the States again. And it, apparently it resets it. But not more than four months. For, for another two, for, it gives you six months doing that, apparently. Okay. Cause the, the but they have to cross back, back at the four mm -hmm. month period yeah. to get it reset to go so back. To go back for another, it gives them another yeah. two months. Yeah, it's only up to the four months. For sure. Yeah. The other thing too, to just uh, again, with, just to add to what Elaine was saying in regards to uh, the insurance that some people aren't aware of is when you do, some people think that as long as they're in Canada, uh, no matter where they are, we're in our own country, we have all our coverage, we're good, you're not. Your health, the minute you step outside of Ontario, you don't have all what you have in Ontario. What's missing is Ambulance coverage is not covered here. Mm -hmm. It's covered by our insurance. One woman needed an air ambulance home from Quebec. Would have cost her $11,000, but obviously OHIP didn't do that. It was covered by our insurance. Another woman broke a small bone in her neck, needed the halo. OHIP can't cover that. It would have been $3,000, so it was covered by ours as well. Air ambulance, or sorry, repatriation is what I was talking about, the 11000 But if somebody wants to come and stay with you, Obviously, OPIC doesn't cover that item. So all of those things are covered by this insurance. And I didn't know that until I worked for it. I thought we're all Canadian, okay? <laughs> OHIP still Some covers more Canadian than others. Yes, <laughs> yes, very little. There's not a lot OHIP covers once you're outside of Ontario, that's exactly. for sure. And all, all those countries covers not only OHIP. Mm -hmm. Anywhere in the world. Everywhere. Everywhere. Antarctica, if you wish. Absolutely. Yeah. And you, you, get, to. you get 5% <laughs> off as a CA member from an annual plan, from any of the plans. Um, as long as you have a membership. Mm -hmm. So any questions about the other country medical or other province? Anybody? Good. Alrighty, so we're good. We're going to continue on. We've got some different things here that we're going to cover. Uh, one of the questions was um, about trip planning, international driving permits, the maps, the travel guides, and the hotels. So CAA offers members a wide variety of vacation options to suit every taste, uh, calendar and budget, from driving trips to beach vacations to European, Asian land tours, ocean and river cruises. Whether you prefer to book with us over the phone or in person at our Cambridge office, CAA is our members' trusted source of all travel in information, inspiration and true value packages. CAA is connected in so many ways for traveling. 
that the, we have partners that, as a member, you get exclusive benefits that others taking the same trip, going to the same place, do not get. Um, so our team has a variety of tools and information available to help you when you're planning your vacations. Some of the things we can provide you with are international driving permits, maps, and travel guides. We also have cutting edge technology to help you find the best gas prices on your trip or to track the location of your CAA service vehicle when needed. So we also have the app that you can download for CAA service tracker. Um, if you have called CAA, um, you can hit that app and it will tell you like every five minutes where the CAA truck is to you, how long it's going to be there. Um, also, did you know that CAA is the only organization in Canada authorized to issue an international driver's permit? When accompanied by a valid driving license, the IDP can be used to drive vehicles for tourism purposes in many foreign countries. So we're the only authorized ones to uh, sell the IDPs. When, 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 do you need one? Yeah, like if I go to Europe. If you're going to drive, yep. Oops. <laughs> I, got, I got pulled over there two no, years you ago. No, you do not. And nothing. Nothing, no problem. Two years ago. Okay. Italy is deadly. Um, we've had people charged and um, impounded rental vehicles just because they didn't have one. A couple came to me yesterday and said their brother-in-law is absolutely right in insisting that you don't need one. So they came in to get one because they know when they get to the place where they're going to pick up their rental car, He's going to be denied to drive, so now they're both going to have to drive when they get here. So On the that, other hand, we rented good? in France, went into Italy, and no problem. When? Uh, a lot of changes years happening. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's been changes. that recent yeah. then? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now you're having to actually your, produce it in order to get your vehicle. It's up to your travel agent as well to let you know that information. If I've people had use a travel agent. Sorry? If people use a travel agent, if they do, everybody's absolutely. looking at everything online now. And, and that's, the, but, that's the trouble mm -hmm. of not having a travel advisory. Right. We print those off for every single person. Mm -hmm. Whether it's an area where you need to be worried about social unrest, where you need to be worried about um, different diseases that are happening, we, we print off all the government travel advisories for every single trip that you do. So you would and know. also, if you have, if you booked through us, and you, if there was ever an issue on anything, you just pick up and dial the 1-800 number, and boom, your travel agent takes over. There was, a, care of there was a time, by the way, us. with CAA, that we um, booked on an economy airline. It was in the process, we didn't know that. Uh, going broke and they switched planes and we didn't get the extra that we had paid for his <coughs> leg room and when we got back CAA got us the money back. Yeah. CAA will take care of you no matter what the issue is. Again, I can't stress enough, it's we're there for you and whatever it is. And we more are loyal to our members. More and reason we are a club, we are a travel club <laughs> as well as car. People um, just, uh, a lot of people just kind of think always the roadside, the roadside, the roadside. But there is so <coughs> many other aspects um, in the way we can take care and help. Um, car rentals. Mm -hmm. Car rentals, mm -hmm. hotels, hotels. Your trip down to Lake Placid, you, can, you want to sit and go through your trip picks, go through. We can, uh, if you sign up and become a member, get your tour books, we can go through with you and Free book, every hotel that you want to be in. We can do it all. We can sit down and our agents can do the whole thing. And make it very simple and stressless. You can just you can do wherever you want to, whatever you want to do. Um, the one thing on those driver's licenses, <laughs> they're only good for 12 months, correct? Correct. Yes. Yep. As, there's I, a copy, as I found out. <laughs> there's a blank copy in your kit for an international driver's permit. We did put a blank application form in there. Um, because that was something you, you had asked about, so we wanted to make sure you saw what it was, what 
sort of information you need to put on it. And please don't feel you have to fill them out. If you're coming to see me, we put it all on the computer. It's all done at the same time. It's just so that you know what they're asking you for. Something you haven't mentioned. Oh. You say. Okay. Uh, something that you haven't mentioned, but you also uh, at least help issue camping carnets. You, you can get the forms for online and then mail them to the Ottawa office. And used to. Okay. Used to. No. Um, Two years that ago. was something you were talking about. Okay, so I did you a fire this week. Um, there is only one company, and the CAA, there's one company in Canada that um, did those. And CAA partnered with that company. However, that company has since this year uh, stepped out of it. Uh -huh. So CAA is in, uh, in the process right now of um, searching and discussing with some other um, companies about those to be able to get that back but currently right now there is no one that offers those carnets in canada right now Absolutely so you'd nobody. have to get them at but destination are, right we are because the company we dealt with um they stopped so now CAA is searching and trying to find out what else and who else can they connect with that's really worth happen. having because so. it shows who you are Got all your passport info. You don't have to let go of your passport other than maybe a little photocopy it. And it gives you something like 100,000 third-party insurance. So if you wreck the, uh, the campground, they don't have to come up to you. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's really I bet you guys did a lot of that. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the parties. <laughs> Is there any benefit to an international license in the States or no? No, not no. anymore. No. It's they really, really nearly messed up with that. Yeah. When they tried to do it for Florida, it lasted oh, yeah. just for a couple of weeks. It was insane. Yeah, yeah. just to be outside of fight the hand that feeds you. Yeah. What it's for. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we also the mobile app um, is a great asset for any driving trip in North America. The app shows you gas prices near you um, by address, city, or point of interest. You'll also be able to find CAA rewards and member benefits wherever you go. Looking for a restaurant nearby? Search for one that will give you the CAA discount. Place a roadside assistance call, get directions, and even call your travel or insurance agent. You can do this all from the mobile app on your phone, anywhere in North America. What's a typical discount for a restaurant for a CAA member? There's 10% off at of East ten, Side Mario. Yeah, it can go yeah. 10 to 20. Well, if, um, you, if you've got four people and it's a $100 bill, it's the $10 off. Like it, it doesn't seem like much at the time, but as you go, especially you if you're, you're tripping, down. right, and you're going, like, <clears throat> I mean, if everywhere you stop, it's anywhere from, I've seen them as high as 20, some of them, and I see, but 10% is the, usually the minimum amount, so 10 to 20. Um, some of them, it's, um, they'll give you CA dollars um, on your card when you swipe it. Best Western, um, doesn't it? Yeah, so what a lot of our members, because they use our loyalty uh, partners, they don't have to pay for their membership every year. It's, they've gathered the money in CA dollars just by. I went to uh, Deluxe Paints there a couple of weeks ago, bought um, a couple of gallons of paint, gave them my CAA card, 25% off. Wow. Yeah. I'll give you an instance. In, the, in your um, package as well, there's a savings guide, and even it's not up to date. So we recommend that you go online you just go and have on the a look. Website because can I can rhyme off like Macy's, Tommy Hilfiger, Izod, Gap, Reebok, Banana Republic, Ralph Lauren, but KBS also shoe source. sports events, hockey games, the Blue Jays tickets, tickets, all of that stuff. Soleil. We are partnered. They're loyalty partners with CAA, and you get discounts if you want to get any of those tickets to go to any of the games or any of the. You know, uh, stage productions that are on there. So, 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 the Cineplex uh, movies yeah. are pretty yeah. good. Nine sixty-five, yeah, they're great. Yeah. So technically, if you used your CAA membership to its full advantage, you could actually cover the cost, cover the cost of the membership through the yeah, discounts exactly. that you got. No question. No question. And then they're some. Here. Yeah. I mean, we I've even had a. Um, <laughs> An elderly couple that had come in asking, they were inquiring about a uh, vacation that they wanted to book, and um, pulled up their, their membership to check what their CAA dollars were, and their CAA dollars were like almost at $500. Like they hadn't, they just go, but weren't using it, 
and they can put that right towards their truck. You haven't seen the one for the trucker we have. He's got over $2,500. Yeah. Like they save them and then they go buy get a vacation. Right? Because it's dollar for dollar. Okay. Um, so um, our maps and travel guides contain a wealth of information and will provide you with the insider information on where members can save at various attractions, restaurants, and hotels. That's the other thing, too, as a member, if you're, you can come in and if there's specific um, attractions that you wanted to go to in certain places um, that you're traveling, we sell so many attraction tickets all of Florida. that you can get them before you even go um, with your CAA membership. <coughs> okay, so anything else there, Elaine, you want to... I can't think of anything else on the... I mean, maps are free. Um, all of North America, we have some of um, the tour of books, which I brought one just to show you what it looks like. But these here, you can have as many of these for as many different places <coughs> as a member. Um, we do not sell these books. You cannot come in and buy one of these books, even though they are priced. Um, only members can receive these, and they receive them free. <coughs> Any maps. For anywhere you also receive free and then obviously your trip tips you can have those made up I mean uh, I've been away all week um, at corporate and Elaine sent me an email because I sent her an email quickly saying where's the black badger because I'm not I don't actually live in Cambridge I said I don't know where I'm going on Saturday morning when I get there and she sent me an email said I did you a trip tip for where to go. <laughs> you can pick it up at the office. <laughs> so, I mean, you can come in and get, like, one little page done if you're going to be somewhere and you want to know whatever. I mean, it was quite comical. <laughs> so, as far as, as far as maps go, say Dave is going to uh, the Netherlands and he wants a map of the Netherlands. We can get it. If there if they're are maps, yeah, we can do them. There's we one, get there's one there's there are. the Benelux country. Yeah, France and Benelux. Benelux. Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands. the Netherlands right there, and actually quite detailed with the uh, roads and then. So it's, 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 it's a road map, though, right? It's a road yeah. map. Okay. Uh, and, and an inset yeah, of all yeah. the major cities for each yeah. of those countries. It, it, which, is, it, it, which is really awesome to have because a GPS is nice, but you don't get a big picture. Yeah, but also Absolutely. GPSs, too, this can a send you. <laughs> we, we have used this map on both sides. Benelux on one side, France on the other. And I find it really useful for pre-planning yes. if you're thinking about where you're going to go, yes. but also uh, it's useful to have a fold-out map or GPS yeah. Yeah. for the specifics because it is so detailed when you get there. Yeah. Very densely populated. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I've driven in many times, and it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> it's possible. Good. Okay, so let's begin talking about your trip and um, some information that I was able to gather. So we've done a route, and that's what we did your trip tips on. So the Lake Placid region is in the northern Ad Adirondacks, Adirondacks and extends from the coast of Lake Champlain, where American Revolution battles were waged, to Shroon Lake, where a pristine wilderness hugs the lakeside village, to awesome biking and world-class fly fishing in the Azabo River of the White Face region, to the highest peaks of New York and the historic Adirondack destinations of Keene, Lake Placid, Ceramic Lake, and Tupper Lake. The Adirondacks boast over 3,000 lakes and ponds and more than 30,000 miles of streams feeding 6,000 miles of rivers. Experience the intensity of the rivers on a whitewater rafting adventure or paddle our peaceful lakes and rivers and spot rare Adirondack birds and other wildlife. Discover it all from the Adirondack Scenic Railroad with trains departing right here in Lake Placid. Because of this natural beauty, let's look at some of the scenic drive examples. So what uh, I've done here is I've picked out some of the scenic routes that you might be interested to Take. Please don't be offended by the NT car route because we just thought it was nicer than the highways for motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> we don't like highways. No. <laughs> so this is the 
Mirror Lake Lake Drive. Um, It's a tranquil spot in the heart of Lake Placid. The town, beach, and park is off Parkside Drive, just past the post office, pier, benches, playground equipment. It's a 2.7 mile loop. It's just a little, little, quick little drive around. This is called the Riverside Drive Loop. Um, this is beginner and the scenic possibilities with the high vantage point of the ski jumps, 120 meter tower. Follow the river with this quiet flat loop with abundant photo opportunities. The Ozabo River is one side and many brooks on the other. The section through the golf course gives both sweep and distant mountains with a view of the ski jumps included. This loop is 9.3 miles, and there's several, several areas to pull off. There's attraction and hiking opportunities. There's a gas station at the beginning of the loop. So, the next one is called the True Wilderness Loop. This approximate drive time from Lake Placid to starting point is about 50 minutes. This is, yes. This is a great loop that takes you uh, through some true Adirondack wilderness as well as along a scenic lake. There's steep desert along the Blue Ridge Road. Best taken west to east, uh, this drive offers expansive vistas and a variety of foliage. Approximate travel time for this loop is three hours. It's 56 miles long. the highlights and side trips, there's the Adirondack Park Visitor Interpretive Center in Newcomb. So this one here, basically it takes you uh, from North Hudson, you would go along Route 9 <coughs> from Shroom Lake, it is nine miles to Pottersville, take the right at the Wells House, which is a big gray building, and you're going to head north and west towards Olmsteadville. So all these, these here you can actually get wanted if you wanted to do this we could actually give you the, the actual direction of the route if you wanted to go there. Didn't they say the Adirondack State Park is like bigger than the state of Vermont? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's big. Yeah. This is the tour of the history loop and it's approximately um, a 48 minute from Lake Placid. Um, so it's retrace historic footsteps with the foliage tour that looks out over Lake Champlain from the top of Mount Defiance. Lake Champlain Mountains on both sides and wonderful winding roads, striking shoreline vantage points, Crown Point Visitor Information Center, many service and dining options. The travel time uh, is approximately three hours. It's a 93 mile loop. Um, Some of the highlights and side trips is the Champlain Monument at Crown Point Bridge, Fort Tacon. And Ford's at Crown Point. Um, Iron Center at Port Henry, Hancock House, and Mount Defiance over Fort Ticonderoga. Again, we can provide directions of the actual route. And this is Logie Road. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Enjoy one of the most scenic and photographed roads in all of the Adirondack Park, lightly traveled and delightful in all seasons, in a valley ringed in by high peaks, 9.6 miles round trip. There is hiking at the Heart Lake section of this. Dare I say, knowing the way the Americans sometimes spell, they probably think that's Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that out loud. Folks don't know these Americans. Um, and, uh, this one here is the bear cub in the woods. Um, this one as well is lightly traveled. It's uh, a 9.6 mile round trip. <coughs> and this is the last one, I believe. Yes, this is called Around the Mountain. And uh, this one here is a scenic ride around Whiteface and Mackenzie Mountains. Stunning beauty in any season, but especially striking in the fall. Many hiking opportunities to easily observe riverside views and forest compositions. Dining and service opportunities in Lake Placid, Wilmington, and Saranac Lake. It's about a two hour uh, travel time around this loop. It's 46 miles. 
uh, to take this one around. So those are some of the different um, driving loops that we thought would be interesting to you, going down on bikes especially. Um, so I just would um, like to close off saying that um, CAA is a one-stop shop for all your travel needs. We're happy to answer any questions you may have um, by visiting our store or giving us a call at the number provided. So in your kits, there's two business cards. There's my, my card and there's also the names. If, like I said, you can book insurance, you can do lots of things by phone, you call Elaine and her extension is there and she'll be happy to service you. If you're interested in actually booking any travel now or in the future, please call my number and I will set you up with one of our travel agents to, uh, if you were interested in booking anything. So uh, to recap, the travel insurance, whether you take one trip a year or one trip a month, we have a travel insurance policy to cover you and your family wherever you go. Um, we have all kinds of travel accessories within our store. Um, we are your source for international driver's Deborah. permits and passports. Mm -hmm. The one thing I noticed when I went to their store, if you want travel accessories, so you want an adapter or you want a travel bag or you want... RFID protection. Any of that stuff, I'm looking at the prices and it's got list price, <laughs> member price. And there's some pretty significant savings there. Huge. So. Yeah, huge. Yeah. And I, I, I'm going to take this opportunity. I don't know if probably you've all heard about RFID at the moment. Anybody not? Um, yeah, but <laughs> okay, because in Europe, and I hear some of you are going there, it's rampant this year of having your identity stolen, um, whether it's through a chip or a barcode. On our passports now, the new passports, 10 years, they can scan those as well if somebody's just walking by. <coughs> So RFID, for your safety, is so important. We've got wallets, um, just even a little uh, sleeve that you put over a card, or a sleeve that you put over your passport. Those are in our store. Um, backpacks, things that can't be cut, waist safes, um, purses, sh yeah, crossbody bags. Yeah. You carry the pack safe stuff too, don't you? Absolutely. And I just want to see you know, I have two cards in here, a bank card and a credit card, and it's just nice little wallet too. Yep. Yeah. So that's the sleeve. That's an RFID wallet. Yes, perfect. Yeah. yeah. So as long as, just in case anybody didn't know about it, it's just too important not to uh, tell you about it. Sorry. So, um, again, just to touch base back with your kids. Um, if you can please fill in the information with your um, email address and sign up slip so that we have those so that if you are emailing us for anything we have the uh, your signed authorization to respond to you um, because we cannot respond if you were to email without that. It's your personal information. It's the new laws. Um, inside there are your, if you were wanting to do membership, um, there is the full package there. You can do it uh, with Visa, MasterCard, uh, check, whatever you want. If you were wanting to become a member today, we can actually, if you fill it in, we can take it back, set you up, and send you your card and have it done. Um, insurance, you may call Elaine's number and her extension, and she can do that for you right over the phone, your insurance. Um, and any other travel questions you have, by all means, please just give us a call. So I'm going to... The reason I can do that over the phone is now we're all recorded. So everything yes. is, you are being recorded when you call in. So well, any I'll questions we ask? <laughs> just <laughs> like, <laughs> So Dave, when you be call, no behave. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm leave this last little video here. It's taking so long here. What's going on?
Christian, what have you been doing? It's been hard enough. It's been hard Do you have a special membership discount today for us? <laughs> Please? Well, kind of, you kind of got a lovely little discount in your kits because yeah. we made all those triptychs yeah. for you yeah. and personalized them with your logo. Cool. Okay. Now, when you sign up for your membership, um, obviously then all discounts will apply for anything else that you go, but we don't have, we can't just discount on a membership. That's okay. is something the reason I asked uh, today, uh, I came with my question. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have a different uh, membership today. I was, I used to be CAA member as well, mm -hmm. uh, time to time. So, uh, so what I know the advantages of CAA for other discounts, hotels, etc. So, there is a difference on the membership fee, for example, with the cost codes offered from DAA mm -hmm. versus yours. So theirs is, for example, ninety-nine dollar per year. And they have eight service calls, and eight of them can be told as well. Yeah. So they won't penalize you not to call them like four. When you call them eight times for towing, mm -hmm. it is covered. So I know yours is for towing. It's not mean. It doesn't mean that I'm going to call eight times a year, but. Uh, you but your cost code doesn't have all the other advantages and coverages and benefits. Correct. So that's, that's what I, uh, I, I brought it. Costco well. isn't worldwide uh, when you're traveling. Um, no, I mean for uh, the, the... Would it uh, work in the state? Yes, yeah, it does. Yeah, so so there's because there are Costco's in the yeah. states, yeah, to a certain... Yeah, yeah but it's a, Dominion, it's a Dominion Auto Club. Yeah. It is true Dominion Auto Club. Okay. So what is your comparison, uh, your service versus theirs? Um, I think if you pull out what their service is and you take um, a lot, take what we put in your kit for you, I mean, I don't know what all their stuff is um, that they cover, um, but I think you'll find if you're, you're going down and, and wanting to compare apples to apples, I think you will find um, there's a lot more apples on the CA side of extra, not just roadside. Have you, you have to remember there's so much else yes, besides yes. just roadside. Um, I think you will find there's some more things in there that might not be. I don't know that 100%. I have to ask I was going to ask the question. Do you have the one for Dominion so that you can compare? Yes, I do. That, that's, so I you've got yes. that in your hand? So, so you the, will be able to compare exactly. The main uh, uh, difference uh, is the call? Plus, eight, eight for example, is huge. Is eight, that more than one person on the membership or just for one person? It is for person? single and it is really? for family it is $170. And uh, for example, they and cover 250 meters? kilometers yeah. for each call. Mm -hmm. So I know yours is uh, 200. 200 plus 320 for <coughs> one time. For that one membership, the Correct. premier, that's the most expensive. Those five calls can be, for example, only 12. Or calls are limited to one or two calls, for example. Oh, in no, your it's case. whatever you need at the time, whether it's keys locked in the car, battery boost. Mm -hmm. run now it gas. says here your fuel delivery. We have. Um, do they charge you for your fuel delivery? We don't. Yeah, for five liters, five dollars, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. Ten liters time. for free. We just mm -hmm. bring it for free. Mm -hmm. We don't charge you for gas. Um, so I just wanted to compare. Okay. I know I used it. Uh, are they, are they, are they, are they, are they insuring you or the vehicle? No, this is also to the person. To the person, yeah. They probably looked at it and decided to double it, which is, you know, it's still. I don't think this is all just the person. You're looking strictly from the roadside of this side of the thing. Not the insurance and other things, because I know insurance. Oh, I can still buy. Yeah, even separately. even their passport the photos are cheaper than ours. Though, so <laughs> ours are only nine fifty plus tax for members, but I think theirs are less. Do you have a Costco membership? Do you know? No. I think it. I think theirs yeah. are like six ninety five or something. But we don't know what the quality is like. We don't get rejection. Mm -hmm. So it's also the no um, extraction <laughs> side of things here with with ours. If you need to. A second vehicle? Like if you've got a second truck. A second, second truck? truck? You're not charged for it. A 
believe if you check yeah. deeper into this, you're charged for it. You, you know, like little things like that yeah. make it. I think make a difference. Um, I just wanted to compare. Yeah. Well, and we also have a membership that I haven't talked about. We understand that everybody's getting vehicles with roadside assistance now. Um, when you're buying a car, obviously. I don't know what it is for a motorcycle, but um, no. No. So it's thirty-three ninety for a year to have an Allen Park membership, which means you have everything that we do except the roadside. Yeah, except roadside assistance because you don't need your roadside, but you still get all the other discounts that you normally would. There's thirty percent off for new glasses at three places, really? both lenses and frames. Yeah, but you're limited to where you go. <laughs> but there's three. Yeah. So actually, yes, there's four. Uh, with any any loyalty, exactly. any company, loyalty cards limited, determine right? where you go. Yeah, I probably could get more use out of my membership, except I don't want that to be dictating where I'm. Great. But then it's your choice as to whether you exactly. go to there's Pearl yeah. Vision, Lens Crafter, Sears Optical, mm -hmm. and Shoppers Optical. In here it says for. Um, like if they were on a trip, mm -hmm. that they they go up to a hundred dollars a day um, for a hotel and a meal. Yeah, um, it's six hundred dollars maximum for accommodation of aircraft ride, bus yeah. or train home with ours. It's six hundred dollars. Yeah, it doesn't say how many days. It just says up to six hundred dollars. Ah, uh, and here's the biggie. If you are involved in a motor vehicle accident or any type of an accident with them, they can help ease by reimbursing you when you submit everything. So you have to do it all. They don't. If you use someone else, they will reimburse. If you wait, wait for them, they will come. No, no, oh, but I'm talking saying, about an accident. I'm, I'm accident. talking about, for the accident. you would yes. have to pay for everything. You have to do it all up front, <coughs> and they give it back. You don't do that with CAA. You just make the call, CAA takes care of it. You're not out of pocket anything. When you, when you have to pay something, you're not out of pocket for it. Whereas this one, you pay, and then they reimburse you. And sometimes that's a... That can be a big... <laughs> Depends on how much they're trying to do. <laughs> yeah, a that big thing. Yeah. I mean, I, well, if you have especially if you're gone away traveling somewhere, who's, uh, you've just done a trip and put out whatever your money for your big trip, and who's got that kind of money to necessarily be able to turn around and pay $5,000 or $6,000 and be able to afford the time to submit it all and go through the red tape and the headache submitting it all and then trying to get your money back. Like that in itself. The concierge, worth a few dollars. <laughs> the concierge service on uh, the premier membership is neat too in that if you get to a big city and you want tickets to a sporting event or tickets to the theater, they can help you with that. Yeah. So it's just a phone call away at your fingertips. It's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. So there's lots and lots in there for you to read. I'm sure you, you know, if you have other questions after you've gone through things, don't hesitate to give Elaine a call um, or myself. Um, you're probably easier to get hold of Elaine on a regular basis, maybe. Um, but um, we're happy to answer anything at all and assist you in any way that we can. Awesome job. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So there's a lot more to the CAA than tow trucks. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if any of you guys have uh, questions on more of an individual basis, yeah, we're here. They're going to hang around for a few minutes. If you're wanting to fill out anything, if you're wanting to ask anything, thank you so much. No, I hear you. <laughs> 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 
pull that one of these if you don't want. 